audio jungle. Hello guys, magandang araw sa inyo. Again, welcome to my channel, Darks Graphics and Arts. Ito na yung number 8 na tips and tutorial ko sa inyo. Pag-uusapan natin ngayon yung top 25 design tips for non-designers and beginners. Actually, pwede rin sa mga designers tong katulad natin na datihan na kasi minsan nakakalimutan din natin tong mga basics na ito. So guys, yung number one natin, limit your typefaces. When selecting a typeface or font for headings, subtitles, and body text, Use easy to read fonts for simple and effective graphic design. The eye finds it hard to scan multiple typefaces, so stick to simple collection of fonts. Yan guys, bumili lang kayo ng isang font family na kakailangan ninyo doon sa trabaho nyo. For example, yung poster, mas maganda. Ako personally talagang isang font family lang ang ginagamit ko kapag magdi-design ako ng isang composition. Tapos dapat alam mo, Kung anong gagamitin mo sa heading, sa subheadline, tsaka sa body text. Siyempre, yung heading, mas malaki, mas bold. Yung subhead, mas maliit. At yung body text, alam mo na, yung copy, yung binabasa lang, hindi naman siya napakaliit, basta readable. For font sake, limit your typefaces. Applying lots of fonts not only makes your design hard to read, but what's even harder is finding one which will actually look good together. Ayan, napakahirap talaga ng font na masyadong marami. Cluttered yung design mo, hindi mo malaman kung parang magulo. Ano ba talaga yung uh, ini-emphasize mo kung masyadong napakadaming font. So, tayo kung isang fonts na lang o hanggang dalawa. Hanggat maari, isang type font lang ang gamitin. Number two is, don't be scared of scale. Apply scale to type, shapes, or compositional features that need proportionate emphasis. Use appropriate colors to enhance this technique while making sure suitable typefaces that look good when increased in size. Yan, huwag tayo matatakot mag-scale ng uh, font natin, ng text or shapes or ano man yung mga composition element na nasa design natin kasi maaring kaya mo siya i-scale para may emphasize o para mas mapansin nung tao na titingin sa design mo let us say yung title ng design mo so kailangan i-scale mo siya huwag ka matakot make it bold para mapansin yan don't be scared of scale Make your design dynamic by changing the scale of the objects and elements. This will give your graphic feature visual order. So, kung kasi kung wala ka dyang ibobold ng malaking malaki, uh, magiging boring yung design mo. So, hindi kailangan pare-pareho ang laki. Kailangan meron talagang ibobold mo siya. E-emphasis mo. E-emphasize. Pala, e-emphasize. Bibigyan mo ng emphasis. Maaring sa kulay, maaring sa size. So, punta tayo sa sunod. So, Brad, yung number 3 natin is respect the space of other elements. Use letter spacing to fill that space, aligning text, or condensed words that take up too much space. However, be careful not to reduce letter spacing so much. It can't be read. Or increase it so much, the letters become detached from one another. Eto, ganyan yan. Huwag uh, respetuhin yung espasyo. Uh, eto kasi na sobra namang nagdikit-dikit na yung respect kung mapapansin nyo. So, ibig nga sabihin, uh, sundin natin yung tamang spacing ng bawat uh, letra para maging readable siya. At huwag din namang hiwa-hiwalay na masyadong napakalayo ng letra. Meron kasi adjustment sa illustrator niya na mapaghihiwa-hiwalay mo yung distansya ng mga teksto. May binabagayan yan. Pero, at the end of the day, uh, kailangan na uh, sundin mo na lang itong mga basics. Hanggat di pa natin na explore masyado yung ibang mga teknik paano tayo magli-layout. 
or papaano mo ilalatag yung mga teksto mo doon sa design mo. So guys, number 4 na tayo. Use small color scheme. Choose a color scheme that has 1 to 3 primary colors and an additional 1 to 3 secondary colors that contrast and complement each other. Use different tones of the same color for consistency by adjusting brightness for contrast. Finer typefaces will need stronger distinction against color background. Kapag sinabing use uh, simple color scheme, parang uh, lilimitahan mo lang yung kulay na ginagamit mo sa design mo. Uh, bagamat pwede natin sabihin depende kasi mayroong mga design na talagang maraming kulay pero hindi pa rin kasi magandang halo-halo yung kulay mo. Tulad ng isang example na to, yung Be Clever with your colors. Ah... Uh, parang aqua blue, aqua blue siya, tapos uh, yung kanyang letra is uh, ginamit lang yung screen ng kanyang pagka aqua blue, so magandang tingnan, ito yung tinatawag na monochrome um, marami tayong mga color combination na pwede na nating pagtugmain dalawa hanggang tatlong kulay na maganda pa rin ang kalalabasan um, next time pag aralan natin yung color wheel para mas maintindihan ninyo ito, pero Kung gagawa kayo ng mga poster uh, or cover design, mas maganda kung ilimit, matuto tayo ilimit yung kulay sa dalawa hanggang tatlong kulay lang para mas klas ang dating ng design mo. Mas, mas elegante. So guys, number five is create clean, crisp, and clear imagery. Pump up contrast by adjusting the brightness of the background image so that it, it ups it offsets the text color, making the design clear and easy to read. This is a great way to apply white or black text over an image to create a strong cut-out effect. Ano ba ito? So, wag ka na magbibili sa kliyente mo ng... Uh, may tawag sila yung bugal-bugal na image, yung hindi mo maintindihan kasi hindi sharp yung text mo, tapos dark yung background mo. So, ibig sabihin, Pag light yung background, dark yung text. Uh, pag, dark yung back, uh, pag dark yung background, light yung text. Pag uh, light na ganito yung background mo, dark naman yung text mo. So, in this case, uh, yung background niya is medyo dim, so ginawa niya yung reverse. Pero kaya lang yung copy, yung, kung makikita niyo yung copy niya, no point in designing something if you can't read what you have created. Totoo naman, kung hindi mo rin lang mababasa, bakit ilalagay mo pa? So, wag tayong gumamit ng mga pixelated na pictures or low resolution pictures uh, as a background. Um, kasi hindi rin naman siya magiging magandang tingnan. At yung texto mo, dapat uh, clear lagi. Tulad itong sample na to, halos hindi mo na siya mabasa. So, dapat crisp, clean, crisp, and clear. Malutong tingnan. Number six is use fonts to help inform the mood of your design. Choose typeface that sings the song of your content. Typefaces with rounded edges are usually friendlier note. Quicksand is used here in our sample hard edge geometric fonts sans serifs are solid and strong while serifs convey an elegant and sophisticated look yan so, fonts natin ginagamit kailangan isabay mo yung istorya niya sa kwento ng ginagawa mo so let us say gumamit ka ng mga rounded fonts medyo friendly yan na gamitin sa design yun namang mga heavy and straight uh, corner ng fonts like yung mga century gothic, medyo formal yan. Uh, so, yun namang mga serif, it signifies elegance. So, yun nga, uh, iba bagay mo dun sa ginagawa mo klase ng design or composition. Yung fonts mo ang gagamitin. Number seven is create order with alignment. Apply a line 
or an embellishment to far design balance and composition. Here, a line to the left of the text mimics and margin line and anchors the block of the text. Sa sample natin. So, ito yung example niya. Um, kailangan mag-create ka ng alignment. Gumamit ka ng mga element na ma-express mo yung alignment ng layout mo at nung design mo. Uh, ito, ginamit niya rito yung isang vertical line para magkaroon ng uh, visual uh, alignment yung kanyang texto from uh, headline, subheadline, tsaka yung copy niya. Number eight is keep your designs simple. Ito yung pinakapaborito ko actually. Uh, mas simple, mas magandang tingnan. Keep it simple, but don't forget your basics. Make sure every element has a reason to be in the design. Keep the number of fonts, colors, shapes, and frames to a minimum. Use contrasting tonal color combinations to text is sharp and easy to read. Applying a solid frame to, to contain your copy will enhance the compositional structure of the design. Yan, uh, kasama pa rin yung mga principle of design, i-apply natin kahit na simple yung ginagawa natin. So, huwag pa rin kakalimutan. Pero, yun nga, keep in your mind always, simple is the best. Sa lahat ng design, pag simple yung trabaho mo, pero may dating, agad ma-approve ng customer yan. Keep it simple. Don't hassle yourself complex style and palette. Some of the best designs also the most simple. Kita mo tong sample na to. Uh, light background against uh, gray text. Tapos may copy. Tapos na. Mas magandang tingnan. Kahit sa mga business card, posters. Make your design simple. Number nine. Konti na lang. Use the same design elements on every page. Kung, uh, ito, ginagamit to kung gagawa ka ng mga multi-page design. The easiest way to ensure aesthetic unity across a document or presentation is by duplicating the pages, then editing text, and replacing images. Ito ay isang uh, practical na gawin kung gagawa ka ng multi-page design. So, mas maganda kung pare-pareho yung mga element na ginamit mo each page. Uh, siguro kung may mga ibang pages ka, dalawang page na different, yun yung mga special pages mo, pwedeng maiba. Pero, ito, mas mapapadali trabaho mo rito at mas pro ang dating. Multi-page magic. If you are creating multi-page documents, make sure you apply the same style fonts size and image filters to all your designs for consistency. Number 10, be original. Push your creative abilities and graphic design skills to achieve original graphics. Be inventive and experimental and choose and combine different typefaces and filters. Avoid trends and create designs that correspond with your own unique style, leaving a personal stamp on your work. Ah, yan. Kailangan unique ang trabaho mo. Mag-isip ka kung anong wala. Tatasay tatlo kayong designer. Ginagawa ni lahat ganong style. Ibahin mo yung style mo. Kung baga ikaw lang yung meron. Para mag-stand out ka. Kung baga, kung ano yung wala, ika nga, Ayon ang uh, isi, pag-isipan mong gawin kung ano ba yung meron at ano yung wala para maiba ka. Mag-create ka ng stamp, kumbaga selyado yung gawa mo, kakaiba. Hindi, uh, hindi pe pwedeng manggagaya ka lang. Pero ako suggest ko, sa una siguro pwedeng google-google ka lang, pero after that kunin mo yung idea at para makadevelop ka ng style mo. Number 11 is use hierarchy to order your content. The most visually dominant features in a design should be the most important part of the message. Apply the color or scale to a graphic to see how it changes the hierarchy of elements and what grabs attention first. Yan. Yung 
pagkakasunod-sunod ng design mo. So, dapat alam mo kung alin yung dapat kulay nito na mapapansin. Alam mo kung alin yung dapat malaki. Alam mo yung dapat medium yung size. Alam mo dapat yung medyo medyo uh, maliit yung texto or copy para mayroon tinatawag na pagkakasunod-sunod. Kumbaga, yan yung hilera ng design mo. Ito mo yung sample. Merong malaki, may medium, merong copy sa baba. Ganyan. Merong pagkakasunod-sunod. Ayan eh, sa shape, sa kulay, meron din. Alam mo dapat kung alin yung uh, halimbawa, nilagyan mo ng red. Siyempre, yun yung mapapansin. Yung ba yung mahalaga doon sa design mo? Yung ba yung pinaka player doon sa design mo? Number 12, play with symmetry. Use horizontal and vertical lines to correspond with other design elements for balance and proportion. Ensure the thickness of elements match weight of the fonts. So, ito yung sample natin. Corresponding creations. Remembering the good graphic design doesn't happen by mistake. Ensure all lines, frame, and spacing are similar weights for stylistic consistency. Ayan. Consistency. I-check yung thickness ng fonts, ng lines, it's either horizontal or vertical, kailangan pareho yan. Depende na lang kung ipapaluwanag mo kung bakit uh, hindi pareho yung thickness ng lines mo. Kadalasan, pansining-pansining niya sa mga layouts. Number 30 is relax your eyes every now and then. Recharge your creative batteries by taking a break. Relaxation, relaxation, boost energy and productivity so take a walk, grab a bit to eat, sit in the park to refresh the brain and revitalize the vision ito pinaka importante yung break, so sa experience ko, pag meron akong hindi isang makuhang trabaho hindi ko talaga ma-design design, meron ganun sometimes, ganun talaga uh, wala kang maisip sabi nga na nat, uh, have a break take a kit cut, tama ba? Labas ka muna, kakopi-kopi ka, o, oh, medyo text-text ka muna, laro ka muna ng ML, mga isang game lang, balik ka ulit sa design mo. Ganun lang. Para yung mata mo, uh, kasi kung maghapo ka natutok, katutok sa computer, masama din yun. Pag talagang wala ka maisip, take a break. 14. Keep your phone in the same family. So, parang katulad ng diniscuss natin to kanina, basahin muna natin yung English niya. Create visual uniformity by applying one typeface or font family to, to text. Use typeface or font family that has a selection of variants such as italic, bold, condensed to keep options open. This image combines Libre, Baskerville Bold, Light, and Italic. O, sinasabi niya itong sample natin. Ayan. So, itong sample na to is one font family. Meron siyang normal, meron siyang italic. Yan, pwede natin gamitin yung basta one font family. Pero ako kadalasan kung ginagamit yung Century Gothic, tsaka yung Helvetica, yung isang font family niya, maraming klase. Merong thin, merong condensed, merong extra bold. So, marami naman tayong madadownload nyo kung gusto natin. Number 15 is use, use white space. Ito, paborito ko rin to. Create a fluid design by surrounding words with a white space to let elements breathe. The application of space around text boxes, images, and other graphic elements makes a design easier to read. It's also more likely to attract attention than a cluttered composition. Paborito ko to. Uh, subukan mong gamitin yung white space may mga ilan-ilan ka lang naka uh, elements na sa composition mo uh, piliin mo yung uh, may bro ka isang bold text tapos may kaunti kang illustrations napakaganda ng magiging dating tulad na lang itong sample natin na to meron siyang uh, text sa gitna na bold at may kaunting copy tapos may isang horizontal line di ba humihinga yung design mo so mas maipapakita mo ng maganda kung ano talaga yung gusto mong ipakita sa gawa mo. Tsaka napaka-elegante ng dating. Kahit yung black, uh, reverse naman natin, black yung background, tapos reverse white, subukan mo to ang ganda. Kahit texto lang ang gamitin mo. 
So, broad number 16 is research before you start designing. Have all the details needed before you begin to write or create a study with research and resource. Whether it's material and object or information and facts, the research process will guarantee a more thought-out result. Totoo naman yan. Bago ka magsimula ng isang trabaho, research, research muna. Open naman yung internet. Lahat open source na. Uh, let us say, you're going to make a corporate identity. So, you have to research ano ba yung pinagmula ng company, ano yung history niya, anong kulay ang ginagamit nila, ano yung, sa, ah, anong kulay pala yung pwede mong gamitin, o anong, anong business nila, anong pinagkakakitaan ng company na to, ano yung mga activities nila. So, para dun sa mga idea na malalaman mo, ma-apply mo to dun sa identity na gagawin mo. Number 17 is create a mood board. So, ito, hindi ko naman masyadong ginagawa to, pero ito as a beginner or sa mga hindi pa nakisimulang mag-design o nagbabalak pala mag-design, mas maganda yung may mood board para kumbaga may guide ka. Use a grid of simple and easy mood board to contain a collection of images, color swatches, and then yung mga color swatches mo, and other visual pieces. This practice will help you to find a common color palette or theme that can then be applied to a project. Moodboard, if you like to jump right in a design, go ahead. But for some, it is nice to gather images, swatches, yung mga elements mo, pag samasamahin mo muna sa isang moodboard, yung kulay, uh, mostly, nakikita ko to uh, nung nasa architectural ako, ginagamit to ng mga interior designers. Um, let us say, uh, ang kanilang uh, mood board, ang kanilang team is antique. So, definitely, yung mga sofa nila is antique. Yung mga, yung mga gamit is more on antique din. So, yun, kukuha sila ng mga swatches na brownish, medyo, mga, medyo antique yung kulay. So, yun. Bale itong mood board, pagkasamasamahin mo ron sa isang board yung mga images, fonts na posibleng magamit mo in the process of your design. Number 18 is imitate and create. Pabulit, paborito natin to. Use your Canva social stream or inspiration websites to find designs you love. Replicate the type treatment, the photo filters, of general layout in your own content. So, actually, ito mo naman to. Uh, totoo yan, pwede ka namang mag-imitate, kunin mo yung uh, isang design sa internet do sa mga paborito nating sites. Then, uh, from that idea, mag-create ka ng panibago o pwede mo pa siyang pagandahin. Kung baga, hindi mo sasabihin kinopya mo naman ng kopyang kopya. At least, in-improve mo siya or uh, nilagyan mo ng twist. Yan, parang ganyan. So, hindi naman si Bin talagang kokopihin mo. Kunin mo, then gawan mo ng twist o gawan mo ng bagong idea yung trabaho. Yung nakita mong inspiration. 19 is be conscious of global events. Keep your mind fresh with current events to inspire and influence both your work and the way you work. Follow relevant news page on social networks, get viral and relevant information, and keep general, general knowledge up to date. Ito, importante rin to na aware ka kung ano nangyayari sa paligid mo. Aware ka sa mga trends na nangyayari. Uh, makakatulong din kasi ito sa'yo kung nagdi-design ka um, at nagtatrabaho ka. Kasi alam mo, kung ano ba yung pwede mong ma-adapt doon sa pangkasalukuyan na nangyayari na pwede mong may apply doon sa ginagawa mo. That kasi may bago na so, hindi mo pa alam. May bago ba lang, may, may bago pa lang trends ng designing. Tulad itong mga UI at itong mga UX. Kung hindi ako nagbabasa ng internet, hindi ko malalaman na meron na palang UX, may UI designer na pala. So, we have to be aware of what is happening in our surroundings para eto makakatulong sa atin para ano pa, baka may maidagdag pa tayo na mahalaga do sa ginagawa na pwede, pwede pala nating magamit do sa current events na nabalitaan natin
Number 20 is think outside the box. The most creative people think outside the box. Don't use the typical icons and symbols you see everywhere to represent your topic. Research, sketch, and print to find new and original icons to visually communicate with your audience. Uh, think outside the box. Ito medyo mahirap to kasi usually pag uh, alam ko na Uh, avoid glitches. Don't use lightning bolt or thinking bubbles icon to represent ideas. Flex your creativity. Isabihin itong sample na to. Uh, for example, human, uh, i-represent mo uh, a human being who is thinking or a man who is thinking. Don't use bubble anymore. Yung mga bubbles, bubbles na may bilog. Hindi na. So, ibahin mo naman. Pwede yan. Yung lightning, yung kidlat. Uh, mag-create ka ng bagong icon. Mag-sketch ka muna. So, wag naman kung ano yung sinabi ng heading mo, yun yung gagawin mo illustrations. Lagyan mo ng kaunting twist. Mag-isip ka pa, kaya nga outside the box. 21. Ito, paborito ko to Contrast is key. Contrast is one of the most impressive parts of the design for mood, legibility, and to make it stand out. Use contrasting color palette background, fonts, and graphics. Use photo filters to enhance the positive negative space in an image and apply black or white to copy to create optimum contrast against background image. A good rule of thumb is if you have a light color background, then you should use a dark font and vice versa. So, simply lang natin. Itong contrast, ibig sabihin, uh, hindi magahalo yung background at saka yung element mo na ipapatong sa background mo. Let us say, pag dark yung background, light yung element mo, yung texto mo, or yung illustrations. Pag uh, light naman yung background, dark naman yung elements mo. So, dapat, yan yung con- dapat may kontra siya. So, para mas nakikita kung anong gusto mong ipakita doon sa dinidesign mo. Uh, yung contrast maari mangyari between the fonts sa yung background maari din sa illustrations okay ito itong sample natin uh, one color yung background niya tapos uh, reverse white naman yung texto niya ganyan na sinasabing uh, contrast vice versa kung siguro uh, puti naman yung background niya dark naman yung texto Twenty two brighten up your graphics. Create drama and impact with attention grabbing graphics. Ensure your colors don't bleed together by choosing views and contrast against one another. Um create ka ng content sa design mo na makakagrab ng attention doon sa target market mo o doon sa titingin ng iyong design. Siguraduhin mo yun ng kulay yung mga element mo ay contrasting with each other hindi yung nagahalo-halo kasi pare-pareho na siya so ibig sabihin mayroong dominance applying bright colors can sometimes seem that thing but remember it's a great way to give your message optimum visual impact keep a notebook number 23 Whether on the train, at work, or about to fall asleep, inspiration can come at any time, so it's important to be prepared. Keep a notebook to draw, scribble down notes and ideas, and refer back to them when it comes time to it when it comes time to create. Yeah, siguro sa panahon natin, pwedeng notebook, pwedeng cellphones. Say, yung once nagkaroon ka ng inspiration or idea sa labas, madali mo siyang makukunan ng picture or kung meron ka ng mga sketchpad or notebook, pwede mo siyang i-drawing para matandaan mo. Kasi minsan yung idea, uh, wala yan sa loob ng office or wala sa bahay, minsan nasa labas lang. So, madali mo siyang matitake note. At pagka time na gumagawa ka na, kukopihin mo na lang or mariremind ka kung anong gagawin mo. Put it on paper. Keep a journal of your freshest and most inspired ideas to refer to when your creativity needs a boost. Number 24, trial and error. Everyone, everyone make mistakes and sometimes they are the most important part of learning experience. Design is all about trial and error. So push your designs to the limit. 
because the creative process is often never complete. Don't like what you see. The undo button is always a great friend. Yan, trial and error. So, wag matatakot magkamali. Uh, tayo bilang tao, designers, nagkakamali. So, kung makita ka ng mistake, kaya nga ginawa yung undo. Undo ka lang ng undo hanggang sa ma-perfect mo yung trabaho mo. Wag magkakamali magkamali. Wag, wag, mo rin pa, wag ka rin mahihiyang ipakita na nagkamali ka kasi dyan tayo natututo. Kahit hindi sa pagdi-design. Sa lahat ng bagay, kung nagkakamali tayo, dyan tayo natututo. So, sa design din, kaya nga nandyan yung undo, 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 control C. Ayan. Trials and error. Every now and then, your first design is stellar. Other time, it takes 20 sketches. And for tama yun, uh, yung ibang painters nga dati, um, makakatapos na kahit mga isang daang compreh- comprehen- comprehensive sketches. Bago nila magawa yung tamang design nila eh, or tamang painting. Number 25, uh, this is not the last. Meron pa kasi akong isang dinagdag, isang pahabol pa, pero banggitin na rin natin. No naked image. No naked images. We're not talking image content here. We're talking layout. Aligning images, images with grids or frames makes a design look more professional. Yan. Tulad na itong sample na to. If you, are, if you will look at the right side, uh, meron siyang visual alignment. Pagdating sa left side, yun, tumagal din mga pictures. Dapat, uh, maroon tayong gumamit ng grid. Kung baga, alignment. Uh, magandang tingnan kung ganito yung picture sa kanan. Gawin mo na rin sa kabila, ganyan, para nandun din yung balance. So, huwag kang gagawa ng ganyan na kung saan man lang napunta yung litrato. Ayan, o. Oh. Diba? Hindi siya professional tingnan. At hindi talaga siya professional pagka ganyan. Ito na. Uh, last but not the least, 26 pala. Finish but not too much. Make sure elements are correctly aligned. Text is legible. Contrast is enough. And space gives design features room to breathe. Kapag na-follow mo na yung mga fundamental steps, okay na yan. Huwag mo na muna masyadong perfect and basta wala namang perfect eh nobody is perfect. Uh, kung baga hindi mo matatapos yung design mo kung palaging hahanapin mo yung perfect na design mo lang perfect na design. Sabi nga nila, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Kung sino tumitingin. So kapag uh, sa tingin mo, sa mata mo okay na, okay naman yung contrast, okay naman yung mga elements, correctly aligned, okay na yan. Nobody likes anything perfect. At karamihan, sabi ko sa inyo, yung mga customer, um, hindi naman sa sinasabi ko na gusto nila is perfect or ayaw nila yung perfect. Minsan talagang hindi naman perfect yung gama, gawa mo, yung pa yung na-approve. Remember, be creative, break the rules, and push your design skill by coming up with a new and innovative ideas. At the end of the day, graphic design is about exploration and experimentation. Alam mo, may mga rules na ganito, mga tips na ganito. Okay natin sundan din ito para hindi nawawala yung discipline. Pero kung may nakita kang magandang idea at mag work naman, bakit hindi? Kasi ang graphic design nga is exploration, mag explore ka. Tsaka experimentation. Dito papasok yung uniqueness ng trabaho mo para mag-stand out ka sa iba para mas malaki ang sweldo mo at uh, ano bang tawag dito um, remarkable yung gawa mo so mas magugustuhan ng kliyente yung trabaho mo at palagi silang magpapagawa sa iyo so again this is Darwin your graphic design specialist um, marami pa akong ito siguro sa susunod uh, Mag-uumpisa na tayong magturo about softwares. Pero ipapakilala ko muna kung isa-isa kung ano ba yung softwares na ginagamit natin sa pagdidesign. Uh, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe ka na. Dalian mo lang. Kasi target ko na maging 200 na subscriber ko. Para ma-boost naman yung moral ko para makapag-upload na ako ng ibang videos ko. Subscribe lang po at saka yung notification bell para pag may bago kong upload ay malaman ninyo 
uh, para sa mga bagong graphic design at mga nagsisimula pa lang keep it up uh, huwag kayong magsasawa ng magtanong uh, sa Facebook page ko pwede tayo mag conversation dyan magtanong-tanong kayo at sasagutin ko naman kayo para matulungan kayo o ano man yung kailangan nyo na kaya kong itulong pagdating sa design uh, salamat po <music>